Cosmic Parser is an open source script written in Perl, which will take one or more standard MIB files from a user-specified directory and create a MIB analysis spreadsheet in Microsoft Excel format. The spreadsheet will contain the following sheets. One, the MIB statistics. Two, the MIB variables. Three, traps. And four, trap variables. MIB parser may be found on SourceForge, but it runs in a very old Perl and net as an MP environment. There is no problem running this script under FreeBSD or Linux. This video will show how to run this under current Windows 10 64-bit. A package download link is provided in the YouTube description below. We've taken the download and placed it on the desktop. The zip file is then extracted and it will be extracted into a folder and we'll take this folder and go into it and we'll open up the readme file and within the readme file there is a description of very quick procedure. So the first thing we need to do is open up a command prompt and run as administrator. And we're going to cd to the root and we're going to make directory user, usr. And we're going to cd into usr. And we're going to make two directories. We're going to make first the Perl directory and we're going to make a MIBS directory. And we don't need the command window anymore, so we can just exit EXIT. Now the next step is to install Active Perl. So let's double click on Active Perl MSI file and install it. And we're going to change the options because we want to place into the user Perl. So there's user and Perl folder, continue. And we'll make sure that all of the programs are being selected and continue. So after we install the active Perl, we're going to need to install the net SNMP. Now these are all very old versions, but this combination I've found will work perfectly to parse MIBs into Microsoft Excel file. Okay, so now we're going to finish. Now, net SNMP. Right click it and run as admin. Just ignore this message. We're running on a 64 bit OS. Uh, then next, accept, next. And we're going to make sure to place this right where it is into user. and install. We don't need to read me and finished. So there's a spreadsheet folder here, so we're going to copy it. <clears throat> And we're going to get into our C drive. And find the user folder. And copy the 
copy it into the Perl folder, into Perl site lib. Okay, next we need to take our mid parser script file, copy that, and place it into the Perl folder. So we need another command. Doesn't need to be administrator. We're going to see to user Perl. We're going to run the command to install. So we type in ppm install net snmp ppd so this is integrated the net snmp into our Perl environment and now we can test so we do a, mid, a Perl mid parser pl and it's a normal message So now we're going to do a, an example. I'm going to grab a, grab a MIB. So we copy this MIB. This is a large one. It's good for testing. It's a FRM220 NMC MIB. Put it into the user MIB folder. Okay. Now we go back to our command window. This is the latest MIB. So we follow this example. So we put in MIB parser. And actually, you don't need to include the Perl name, but it's OK. And our directory dash dir equals and we put the mib remember into user mibs and the file is going to be because this is a frm220 nmc and it will automatically put an excel extension on it this is 257 2.57 misspelling mib parser okay and we're off to the races smaller mibs will compile very quickly and parse but this is a huge mib so it takes some time but just wait for it Wait for it. There we go. Done. Phew. No error either. Okay. So if we look in our user Perl folder, we'll see we now have an Excel. Okay. So we can click that, open it up in Excel. And you can always do a little bit of arrangement. So if I like select all, control A, and then take the wrap off and format so that it's automatic column width, this makes it much easier. You can also view, freeze the top. And you can do this on all of the sheets. There's four sheets, statistics, Mid variables, traps, and trap variables. So there you have it. That's um, 
MIB parser running in Windows 10, 64-bit. It's kind of a piece of cake. So the user MIBs is the proper place to place MIBs. Now you can place multiple MIBs if they're all related to the same device. And some devices do have multiple MIBs. Okay, we're going to try another. This is also an FRM220 product. Uh, this is the the new uh, 2000 MS, which has two MIBs. There's a CTC TC MIB and then the device MIB. And if we come here, we can do it again. We're going to change our output file because we've got a different MIB. So this will be FRM220-2000. And very quickly, I've got another check the user Perl folder, and there is another Excel file. And you can do the same thing. Control A, turn off word wrap, format automatic, and freeze the top. It's much easier to understand the MIB contents than just actually viewing at the MIB file itself. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, command prompt, you can just kill the box or exit. It's a, it's a really good little tool. It comes in very handy. There's this is uh, with no parameters. It will give you uh, an example so if you forget the command. It's pretty good. Thanks for watching.